Hello, welcome to this lesson <coughs> where we are looking at um, probability to combine with sets. I want you to pay attention because um, this part, like in the exam, the past papers that I've seen so far, it's been long when I last saw the combination of two, of the two in the exam. And um, even as we go through it, I want you to pay at particular attention on this part. Okay? I mean, this is where the emphasis is on the, the new syllabus. So, here I'm not even going to spend much time. I talked about these things when we were looking at sets. I just want to see uh, or to explain to you how you can handle a question that uh, as probability. So, we have a Venn diagram here that shows um, the candidates that study um, mathematics, chemistry, and physics. Okay? So, now we are saying from this uh, universal set, if a candidate is selected at random, find the probability probability, find the probability, hmm? find the probability that uh, a candidate applied for two subjects only, huh? find the probability that a candidate applied for two subjects only. So the only thing that we are supposed to do here when we are looking at probability, the denominator part, we are going, first of all, we need to add, we find the total number of uh, students here or candidates so this is 20 give us what this is 20 we have 60 okay this is 20 uh, 40 60 uh, yes yeah, 60 70 80, 85 85 is the total number of pupils so that must be our uh, <coughs> sample space there then now we ought to the favorable these candidates the candidates that applied for two subjects only this is what we are looking for how many are they those that applied for two subjects only the two subjects that the candidates that applied for two subjects only are these ones 10 4 and 2 okay so when you add these you find that you're going to have 16 so this is the probability of candidates that applied for uh, two subjects only. This is the probability. So the, the only difference is that uh, down here we are going to have a total number of candidates uh, under consideration. That's the only difference. How we find the probability of candidates, find the probability of candidates that uh, applied, that applied for chemistry only. Find the probability of whom? candidates that applied for chemistry only find the probability of candidates that applied for chemistry only so where is chemistry chemistry is here those that applied for chemistry only they are 40 so we have 40 over the total which is 85 so 5 here 8 5 into 8 it's 1 remainder Remainder, uh, remainder 3, 5 into 35 is 7. So this is basically, I just wanted to mention briefly on this. I, uh, my, my concentration is on the other part. This is what you are expected to do in case you have a question that is talking about uh, such. So I want us to look at this part here. If we two events are mutually exclusive, if two events are mutually, are mutually exclusive events, they do not have an intersection set. They do not have an intersection set. If one occurs, the other one will not occur. So they don't have anything in common. They do not have anything in common. Two events that are mutually exclusive. If one of them occurs, the other one will not occur. That is what is there. Okay? So, that is basically, they do not have an intersection set. As you can see here, 
the intersection said there are no elements for two events that are mutually exclusive. So like if you look at this one here, they do not have an intersection set. So these ones we are saying they are mutually exclusive. So the union of these ones, you just add them. Okay? That is the addition rule of mutually exclusive events. Then, of course, we have the universal here. Even here we have the universal. For these ones that have an intersection, they are not mutually exclusive uh, events. They are not mutually exclusive um, uh, sets or events rather. So what you are going to do now in this case is that if you put their union, like you are trying to apply this, you need to get rid of the intersection because we are saying their intersection is zero. They do not have an intersection set. They do not have an intersection set. This is why now I want you to look at this question. I'm going to go through it. I just don't want us to spend time copying it. Let's look at this question. Okay. Let's look at this question here. The worked example is an example. I mean, the answers are down here. I just want to take you through on how these answers were found. Okay. So read this question. Write it down so that even as I go through it, we will not have uh, issues. Okay. Okay. So. So now, if you have read that question, like I told you, we are saying um, the set has what? In this set, we have what elements? The elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Please pay attention. These are the elements that we have. Now we want find the probability that find the probability that the number if a number is chosen at random find if the number is chosen at random from this set if the number is chosen at random from this set find the probability that that number is an even number or an odd number so we are coming from this point so, so this is what we are going to do now. So we are going to say, like what they are saying there, let set A, which is the first part here, we say this is going to be a set of what? Even numbers. A is going to be a set of even numbers because we are talking about even numbers or odd numbers. So the even numbers here are 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Oh, and 10. These are the... Then B is going to be a set of odd numbers. It's going to be a set of odd numbers, which is 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Okay? Now, um, I want you to pay attention here because um, for the probability, for the probability of picking an even number, I mean, an even number. These numbers are how many? They are 5. So the probability here is 5 over the total number here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. They are 10. Plus, how many are they this side? Um, they are 5 also. So we have, so we add this. And when you look at these, first of all, when you look at them, we do not have anything that is common. So it's like we are looking at the probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus the probability of B. Plus the probability of B because we do not have an element that is common there. We don't have an element that is common. Uh, Okay, 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 okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think 
I was looking at what these guys. So there's a there's a slight mistake here. On this, they were talking about. I just concentrated on the odd number. They're saying an odd number greater than an odd number greater than what? An odd number greater than six. So the odd numbers that are greater than six, it's only seven and nine. I'm sorry about that. I didn't. I'm sure you can see from the question that I gave you there. So this part, the odd numbers that are greater than 6, it's 7. And so this part is supposed to be, uh, I just went for an odd number from the list. So this is supposed to be 7 over 10. This is supposed to be 7 over 10. That is what's supposed to be our answer, even in what these guys got. All right? So now, I want you to look at the second part. I want you to look at the second part uh, and uh, I want you to get the concept. I hope you copy the question. So the second part they're saying, find the, the probability that the number is an even number or a prime number. That the number is an even number or a prime number. Okay? That the number is an even number or a prime number. So, now, from this same list, from this list, I want us to find the, what are they saying, even, uh, yeah, even number or a prime number. So the even numbers, if we are given them as set A, we have got it, they're still the same list, and um, 6, 8, and 10, these are the even numbers. Then the B, which is for prime numbers, we know that prime numbers are numbers that only have two factors. Um, these are the prime numbers that I'm seeing here myself. Okay? These are the prime numbers that I'm seeing. Now, when you look at these two, these two have a common element, which is an intersection. That is very important they have an intersection set. So if this is the case, we need to apply this formula here. We need to apply this formula. So what is the, the intersection of A and B? What is the intersection of A and B? The intersection of A and B is 2. Okay? The intersection of A and B is 2. 2 is the common here. Okay? So in this, this is these two, these two sets here are not mutually exclusive. So we are saying uh, this is what we are going to apply. Going by those formulas that are the probability of A plus the probability of B minus. We need to subtract this part, the intersection, because we do not want it. We are saying mutually exclusive events do not have an intersection set. That's what we are saying. The, an intersection set is zero. So that's why we need to get rid of it here. All right? So you can see now that we are going to have what? We are going to have five, the elements that we have here. How many are they? Here we've got five over 10 plus this side we've got how many? Four over 10 minus how many elements do we have in this set? It's just 1 over 10. So we have 9 over 10 minus 1 over 10. This gives us 8 over 10. What did, this, what did these guys get? 8 over 10, yes. Which you are going to simplify as 4 over 5. So the only thing that you are supposed to do, pay just particular attention to this part. When you are dealing with two sets, that have um, an intersection. You have to make sure that you get rid of that intersection, just like I demonstrated here. Just like I demonstrated here. Otherwise, so far, from 2016 up to 2020, I haven't seen a question on this part, so we never know what may come tomorrow. And um, just do more research and the practice. I'm going to give you this question. Maybe that you're going which maybe may help you to... This is Progress Grade 11 textbook. 
okay maybe there are questions here that you can try just using that same concept okay thank you very much